Hi guys and ladies, a couple of years ago I made fish with lemon cream sauce. It was exquisite. I'd love to try it again. I thought the recipe would be good with bass. So all I needed to do is catch some bass. So yesterday I tried to dodge the rain to catch small ones. Here's what happened. I'm going to make my first cast right here off the dock. at the boat. <sighs> I've been out here for hours. <laughs> I finally got one. And it's an eater, too. This will do for our recipe. Look the other way. This is embarrassing, but the scientists say I have to take these little ones out of the lake. There's just too many of them. They're eating up all the food. Well, the rain finally stopped. The sun came out, but it's dark, getting dark. I have about five minutes and 12 seconds left to fish. Here's what I caught those two bass on. It's called a boar hogs. I'll have it mentioned in the notes. You could read more about it. Fishing today is terrible. Very, very small. I'm keeping him. He's big enough for food. After 20 straight hours, the rain finally subsided enough for me to try some bass fishing. But by then, the water was muddy. I managed to call three dinkerinos, but that gave us a half pound of these nice bluegill fillets. I'm going to combine these with bluegill from the freezer, so now we have well over a pound of fish. Let's first get started, though, with a low-carb side. Here I've got two pounds of asparagus and I only want to cut off the bottom one-fourth. I don't want to waste too much, but those parts you can't eat. You know, as long as we're prepping, let's do some prepping for the fish in lemon cream sauce. I'm going to just chop up a little bit of cilantro. You could use parsley in this recipe. I just like cilantro a little better. The recipe says I need three tablespoons of finely chopped scallions, the white parts only. I hope green onions are the same as scallions because I bought green onions. And where do you tell the dividing line between white and green? What, what about whitish green and greenish white? I've got some green there. 
I'm probably ruining the recipe. Usually I use pre-chopped garlic that you find in the supermarket in the jar, but I had this sitting on a shelf for ages. Look, roots are growing out of it. I want to use it up. So let's chop up a few cloves of the real deal. I've laid our asparagus out on this baking sheet. Asparaguses, asparagi. I'm going to drizzle olive oil on here. It doesn't say in the recipe how much, so I don't know. I've got my special olive oil tossing gloves on, and we're just going to toss, oh gosh, it's swimming in it. So let's just toss this, and then we're supposed to lay it out in one layer. Isn't going to fit. Is not going to fit. It says sprinkle liberally with salt and pepper. I'm really good at this. I've got the oven on 400. I'm going to put this in for 25 minutes. It's been 25 minutes. Let's check on the asparagus. I like it like this. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? And look, it shrunk a little, but I expected that. Back to the fish. Look, I've got two big casserole dishes. I'm just going to sprinkle one side of our fish with salt and pepper. They take up a lot of room. I greased the casserole dishes. I don't know if I need to, I forgot. I'm going to put these aside just for a minute and get on with our lemon cream sauce. Last time I did this in the microwave, but I want to go conventional. Let's take a whole stick of butter and we'll melt it in a saucepan. One half cup of heavy cream, whipping cream. This is a thickener. Two ounces of cream cheese. Who doesn't love cream cheese? I have half of a large lemon. Now I have Dijon mustard. It's gray poupon. Yes, my <laughs> French pronunciation is pretty good. Here we go. Two tablespoons. Let's add some pepper. I don't know how much. As for salt, I'm going to taste it first because I'm using salted butter this time. Here's our finely diced garlic. So I tasted just a bit of this sauce and it might be just a bit salty. So I'm going to add more whipping cream. I don't know, about a fourth of a cup more. I taste the lemon. There's a tartness to this, but yet a velvety smooth creaminess and it's seasoned perfectly now. Oh, this is ideal. Now, remember our scallions or green onions, whatever. Let's sprinkle some of this on top. Now I'm going to spoon just a little bit of our lemon cream sauce over all our fish. I'm going to bring that cream sauce back almost to a boil now because, you know, I don't want to contaminate the sauce. I want to use it again. And this is raw fish, so I think I know what I'm doing. My oven is going at 390. I'm going to put these in the oven for nine and a half minutes. While our fish is in the oven, you ought to know the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic Miss Lulu Cheeks is about to arrive here for dinner tonight, and I'm overjoyed. Uh, but I need to curb my bliss. You see, we've been seeing each other, uh, well, since the Ice Age, yet she seems resistant to my suggestions of marriage. Maybe if I show her how important she is to me, I don't know. It's been almost 10 minutes. I can't wait to see. Oh yeah. Creamy heaven. There's a little one. <laughs> All I'm going to do now is plate these up, then add our asparagus, and then we'll top everything with more cream sauce, and the very end we'll just add some cilantro. Mm. 
Here we are once again with everyone's favorite co-host and celebrity, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for joining me tonight here at my uh, pretty pitiful prefab. And you had a chance to blatantly bolt down my roasted asparagus and fish with lemon cream sauce. And I'm eager to know what you thought of that. They them. were both excellent. The, the sauce was delicious. The uh, fish was very nicely done and the asparagus were tender and very tasty yeah, they, and they are in season so it's kind of nice to be able to enjoy them yeah, yeah. yes and i did like my sauce i must say yeah so the myself. sauce was excellent yes yeah. i loved it yes uh, thank you so much miss cheeks oh i i can say lulu now uh do you ever look at the big picture and think what would the people of the earth be without women uh scarce Huh? Oh. Uh, can I have a hug?